Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, this is the second video on uh, pulse code modulation uh, communication system from Mr. Lati's book. And here we'll be solving end chapter question 6.2-5. And this is on the request of a student from Bangladesh. Okay, in the previous video, I have explained all the uh, procedures in detail. So I will not go through that. But if you feel uncomfortable, you can go back and uh, watch that video and then come back here. What we had discussed is that we'll follow these four procedures. We'll find out the Nyquist, uh, Nyquist sampling rate, first of all. Then uh, we'll find out quantization error. And from there, we'll find L and N. Uh, N is the number of bits. And then we'll calculate the number of bits to be transmitted. And from here, we can find out the channel band bandwidth, which is half of the number of bits transmitted. So let's see this uh, question. It is desired to set up a central station for simultaneous monitoring of the electrocardiogram ECG of 10 hospitals. So these are the 10 hospitals. And this is the uh, central processing unit. The data from 10 patients is brought to the processing center over a wired link. So the data is coming uh, through wired link. Then it is sampled, quantized, binary coded, and time division multiplex. Now I all explained all these in the previous video. Time division multiplex is, uh, I'm repeating here, that these are the 10 signals and one at a time are selected. So this is called the time division multiplex. The resulting combined data is then transmitted to the monitoring station. So from here it is transmitted to the monitoring station and you have monitor. So all the uh, 10 ECG data are monitored here. A binary baseband transmission is used. So binary signals is used. Assume that the bandwidth of a single ECG is 100 Hz. So the frequency or the bandwidth of the single signal is 100 Hz. The maximum acceptable error in the sample amplitude due to quantization is 0.25% of the peak signal amplitude. So we'll understand this when we solve the problem. Go to that step. The sampling rate must be at least twice the Nyquist rate. So this will also use this information. And we have to determine the minimum cable bandwidth needed to transmit the overall data. So the cable bandwidth we have to find. Okay. So first of all, the Nyquist sampling rate. And this is given in the question that the signal ECG or ECG signal Frequency is 100 Hz. Nyquist frequency is two times or greater than two. So we just take two, two times the signal frequency. So the signal frequency 100 Hz. Nyquist sampling rate is called Rn. Nyquist rate is two times the frequency. That is 200 Hz or 200 samples per second. Actually, now we are dealing with samples. Now, the uh, question again says that the sampling rate must be at least twice the Nyquist rate. So this is the Nyquist rate. So we have to double this to get the actual sampling. So the actual sampling rate, we call it Ra, is two times the Nyquist sampling rate, or two times Rn, or two times 200. So it is 400 samples per second. So this 400 samples we have to transmit. Okay, now we'll calculate uh, the error quantization step. We have already discussed this is the uh, any signal amplitude between MP and MP uh, minus MP is divided by the total number of levels. We're assuming the total number of level, uh, levels is L. So two MP divided by L will give the uh, width of one one level. 
we call this as delta V. And we had also discussed in the previous video that the maximum error will be half of this, half of delta V. Okay, so the maximum quantization error is delta V over 2 and delta V from here is 2 MPL. So this solving we get MP over L. This is the first equation of quantization error. Now, in the question also quantization error has been uh, uh, discussed. The maximum acceptable error in sample amplitude due to quantization is 0 0.25 percent of the peak signal so we'll use this as well so that means the maximum error that which is delta v by 2 is 0 0.25 percent of mp which can be written as 0 0.25 divided by 100 mp now both these are same value delta v by 2 this is also delta by v by 2 so we'll equate both so from 1 and 2 equating them uh, we'll find l so L is 400. That means the number of levels uh, uh, for this signal we will require is 400 levels or 400 divisions we can say. So we calculated L 400 but we know that L must be a power of 2. So we have also discussed this why it should be power of 2. Let's see again here. So if we take power of 2 to make this L400, uh, we can either use 2 raised to the power 8, which is 256, or 2 raised to the power 9, which is 5112. Now we, we should not take the lower value because it will introduce more error. So we'll go for the higher values, which will reduce the error, uh, error further. So now the bits here, the, or the binary digits we need is 9. 9 binary digits to get this level of 512. Now, now we can either see from here or we can use this formula that L is 2 raised to the power 9 or N is log 2 L. So N is log 2 to 512 is 9 bits per seven uh, per sample. Okay, now the actual sampling rate we had calculated was 400 hertz or 400 samples per second. Now for one signal we require to transmit a total of 400 and for each sample we need 9 bits. So 400 multiplied by 9 that is 3600 bits per second. This is for one signal. Okay, now the question says determine the minimum cable bandwidth needed to transmit the overall data. Overall data means all the 10 data. So coming here again, one signal is requiring 3600. So these 10 signals will be requiring 10 times of that. So a total of CM is equal to 10 into 3660 is 36 kilobytes per second are to be transmitted. Now, for transmitting this, we have uh, we have already again discussed that the channel bandwidth or channel frequency is the data trans to be transmitted divided by two. So data transmitted is 36k. So we divided by two, we get the channel bandwidth. So two uh, actually because we can transmit only two bits per hertz of bandwidth, the transmission bandwidth BT is C over two is equal to 36k over 2 is equal to 18 kilohertz. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Uh, please let me know through your comments. Thank you.